I made the paper molds for the upper body suit. The mold is only on one side, but you can invert it and do the other or invert it when you draw it on the foam. I will replace the leather with 3mm foam. Leather is very expensive, even synthetic, so I will use foam. It will be very similar and we do not even need to paint it. I will fix the mold with paper tape to the foam, because it is too thin to use pins. Now we will draw the mold in the foam. It is important to draw the center, and then know where to do the lines. Having the center, we will make the lines of the center towards the sides. We will draw the line, where the chest will reach. We will cut. We can temporarily join to validate the size, although we should do it before with the molds. We will leave the back open for comfort and we will put velcro later to adjust. At this height we will put the belt. With a ruler or straight stick we can mark the lines from the center to the sides. The distance between each line is 1.8 cm or 2 cm, which is 1 inch. The stick that I use as a rule already has that distance, so it is easier to draw them. Now we will draw the lines on the other side to be able to curve them. Now we will cut 4 mm or 5 mm wide lines in 4 mm thick foam. In this way we will put temporary lines in each one. We cut enough strips to put. We will seal the back first. Sealing the surface will make the foam thin in its thickness, and also makes it more durable. Sealing the surface is the foam very similar to leather, it is not necessary to paint. We have one side sealed and the other not. On the side that we do not seal, we will cut very smoothly the lines that we have drawn. You can use a ruler, the same one you used to draw lines to help you to stay straight. Better if you use a cutter that is sharper. Now we will put the strips in the middle of each line. We will seal the front side with the heat. At the same time with the fingers we will push downwards where we have cut slightly to make a curve in each line.
We heat and give circular shape. We also heat the rest of the foam. Staying in this way. We will try it again to see the result. Now we will make the sleeves. Remember to indicate the center line. Now the same as we did before. We will leave a margin to then cut according to our arm length. To make it easier than before, to indicate the lines on the other side we will use pins. We will indicate where the pin comes out. We remove the pins. We do the same thing on the other side. As before we heat one side to put the strips, and the other make the cuts. Do the same with the other sleeve. We are ready to join the three parts. We will glue the sleeve with the front. Always start from the center. We will remove the strips to facilitate the gluing.
You can cut if you see that foam is left over, or if there is a lack of foam you can cover what is missing with foam from behind. We remove the paper tape. We need to cut the sleeves at the wrist. On the back we will add strips with velcro to adjust. If you want to give more flexibility to the arms you can warm up the elbows area with the body suit on. If you want you can reinforce the internal area where the joints are. In some joints where you see the glue you can paint to fix. I'll leave the strips on for a while, the more we leave them the more the curvature of each line will be noticed. For the gloves we will use some black hardware or garden glove to cover it with 3mm foam. I extend it a little the length of the glove because I like. But if you want you can do it as it comes. We will make the lines from left to right. Remember to make the triangle as indicated in the mold. Make the lines until the curve. 
as we did before we will heat the side that we will put the strips. We put the pins and draw the lines. Here we will make a horizontal cut. The horizontal cut reaches the vertical lines. Do not leave too much because then you have to put more foam underneath, that's why we cut. We will cut the fingers to glue them in the glove. We will do it longer and then cut where needed. We will also draw an internal line of 2 mm or 3 mm. The internal line will be marked gently as we cut the lines before. We will cut the finger. We will put a strip on the back.
we heat and shape as before. We will do the same procedure for the rest of the fingers. With the thumb is something different, you have to do it with the outline that is indicated. Now we will glue all the pieces in the glove. Glue from the left to the right.
Now we will join temporarily to draw where to put the glue. We will glue until before the wrist of the hand. And getting to the line that we have made. We will also put on the edges to join both sides. Now the final union. If you notice difference between the ends you can heat and lengthen. Now we will glue the thumb. If I had done with the mold without extending would reach here. These are the trouser molds. Remember to extend the length to the ankle. Also we will extend more than indicated to then be able to adjust the length on the foam. As we are using foam and no fabric for the lower body suit we will not leave a margin for sewing. We will cut directly on the edge of the mold. We will fix the mold with paper tape.
Also we will extend more than indicated to then be able to adjust the length on the foam. We will do the same as before, draw the lines from front to back. For the back side it is not necessary to draw the lines. Let's cut. The back side will be cut later. We will make a line perpendicular to the lines to indicate where they will reach. From both ends. The same procedure as before marking by helping us with pins the lines on the other side. I missed cutting the side. With heat we will seal the back side. Now we draw the lines on the back side using the pin marks. We cut the lines gently, but now helping me with the rule. We will cut the strips as before but now longer. Now with heat we will emphasize the curvature of the lines. We will cut the other piece that goes back. We will seal from both sides. We will have to join both pieces. We are going to glue them. Put on both edges glue. Now we will join.
we will join temporarily to validate the size. If you want to get smaller by going down, you can cut the excess foam. Just a little bit of both sides. Now we will do the right leg with the inverted molds. Once we have both legs we will join them. But first we will validate. Gluing some strips from behind is optional, will make the curvature of the lines more noticeable, but now with 3 mm or 2 mm foam, not 4 mm. We will join both ends. You can use some base to join more easily and not in the air. You can try the shin on the lower body suit. Later we will see how to join everything with Velcro. Glue the other leg. We will fix the differences. We will join both legs. To join these two pieces is a little complicated so do it with patience. If you want you can add a reinforcement in the union. Here we will not close reaching up, so we can add a velcro to adjust.
Here we will close only reaching here. You can also reinforce the same but backwards. We will cut the excess by the original line of the mold. For the cape, we will use black fabric. We will expose the fabric in a wide place because it has 3 meters for 4 meters. We will use a rod or stick that has the length from floor to your nose. We will indicate the center from both sides using the length of the rod. Use paper tape to indicate the center and the entire circle. Now we will fix the fabric to the floor, so that it does not move. Now we will draw a circle, using the rod. Always remember to keep the end of the rod in the center. We will indicate with dotted lines, in this way it will form the circle to be cut. We will continue indicating the other quarter. I moved and I also rotated the fabric to continue with the following quarters. Because the fabric is 3 meters wide, at one time we will not be able to advance with the full circle. The central angle of the circle is 270 degrees, although up to 220 degrees is acceptable. The same will happen on the other side. Then we will join the ends to the center. We have also drawn a small circle in the center, using a plate or something circular. The plate is 15 to 17 centimeters in diameter. We have also drawn the lines to the extremes. We have indicated everything we need to close the circle with the dotted lines. This is a length of the rod from my height of 1.80 meter. It's 1.67 meter. We will join the dotted lines already indicated. In this way we will indicate the whole circle.
when we reach this point, we will have to join towards the small central circle. We are ready to cut and sew a hem all the way around. After cutting the fabric and sewing a hem, you get the cape. We will make with foam a support for the cape. For this we will fix the neck of the cape. We will draw the central circle. We will fold the middle to make it symmetrical. Now we will make two with this mold with 3 mm or 4 mm foam. We will draw it a little bigger than the mold. Optionally we can add a chain to the cape. We will close the circle with the chain. We will sew the ends of the chain to the ends of the cape. Now we will glue the support to the cape.
We will cut the leftovers. The fabric for the cape was 3 meters for 4 meters, so the meter that was left over from 3 meters for 1 meter, I will use it for the inner robe. I will cut two rectangles of 75 centimeters for 1.5 meters. We will indicate 75 centimeters to cut the rectangles well. Now let's cut to get the two rectangles of the inner robe. We will fold in the middle and cut to get both rectangles. Seventy five centimeters. We are ready to do the folds to the inner robe. For this, we will use paper tape to indicate the center. From the center to the sides we will indicate sections of 5 cm, the one of the center distributed 2.5 cm and 2.5 cm. We will obtain 11 sections of 5 cm leaving the ends larger. From left to right we will fold a section of 5 cm and we will put it on another section. We will also fix the fold down. So we will get four main folds and one at each end. We will also fix from behind. So we have the inner robe. We can also cut the length if it's too much from behind the chest to the floor. If you want you can with an iron fix the folds. We will glue a velcro on the fabric not only to join the chest from behind, but also to fix the inner robe.
You can reinforce sewing with machine. The other inner robe you have to do it inverted by folding from right to left. We will add velcro to the chest to hold the inner robe. We will draw the area where to glue the inner robe. We will add velcro to the chest on back to close. To join the cape with the chest shoulder we will put velcro. We will use white velcro to put on the silver. To the helmet we will add an adjustment to the neck with an elastic.
Now we will prepare the remaining pieces to add Velcro. We will put Velcro on the ends of the belt to adjust it. Now at the other end we will put Velcro. We will indicate where to glue the buckle. For the belt boxes we will use velcro to later be able to locate them towards the sides. But you can glue the boxes if you want them fixed. To keep the same distance from both sides we will indicate with a paper. I will prepare the cod to be able to add the velcro. To give curvature to the center we will heat putting a strip.
We will glue the center on the cog base. Optionally you can add a velcro to the chest to join it better to the upper body suit. We will indicate at what height to put the chest box on the upper body suit. Now we will put the velcro to the chest box to join the chest box to the upper body suit. Knowing the center of the upper body suit by the vertical lines we will indicate the place. You can put the chest box higher or lower, as you need it. We will add the back closure of the upper body suit. We will do the same with the middle and below. With elastic we will put the velcro to adjust. We will cut 3 elastic and 6 velcro for the ends.
We will join with Velcro the cog with the upper body suit. Cut to the desired height to then add the Velcro. With 3 mm or 4 mm foam we will glue the Velcro to the cog. We will put the Velcro on the side of the upper body suit. It will also help reinforce the base of the upper body suit. You also have a margin to regulate the cog up and down. To adjust the trousers we will make an adjustment with Velcro. We will put Velcro on the other side. We will put Velcro on the lower body suit to join the shins. 
to know exactly where to glue the Velcros we put contact cement in the shins and present them. We can see indicated where to put the Velcro. Now the other side. We put the Velcros on the side of the shins. We will cut four of the same size. The same thing on the other side. If you want the templates you can download from Etsy and stay in the dark side.